There have been so many drivers in the last month that I'm sure a lot of you are asking yourself, which is the best driver to use from NVIDIA? Well, that's exactly what I'm testing today. I'll be comparing five of the best drivers from the last month. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna compare five of the best drivers from recent times. Uh, two days ago, there was a driver 546.17. I compared it against the, the driver before that, 546.01. Somebody requested that I include the hotfix driver comparison as well, as well as somebody asked me to compare 537.34. So I added in 537.58 because when that driver came out, it was pretty damn good. So guys, I'm gonna get to my results now, but if you're gonna be using uh, any of the drivers after 546.01, which was a great driver, there's a new setting called CUDA SysMem Fallback Policy. So by default, it's gonna be on driver default, but if you leave it on driver default, you're gonna lose average FPS and you're also gonna lose some 1% lows. So if you wanna gain some uh, performance back, set uh, CUDA SysMem Fallback Policy to prefer no SysMem Fallback. And then your 1% lows will actually improve. But um, before I get to my results, guys, uh, you know the draw. If you subscribe to the channel, please make sure that you get notifications set to all while you're at it. Like the video, share the video, comment on the video, really will help me with the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed to the channel just as of yet, please consider subscribing by the end of the video if you find this type of content helpful. I have added a new section to my homepage. Um, I, the other day I did uh, in, video, in video control panel best settings, uh, but these are individual settings that I benchmark to see which settings are actually the best. And then uh, I do have uh, on my homepage other optimization. So if you're new to my channel, check that out. Um, but you're not here for that, you're here for those results. So let's get to it. So all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of the newer games. I do test on the GTX 1650 laptop. So the newer games I have to set to low, but everything else is at medium. I test only single player games because I find the data is more reliable. I use FSR 2.0, 2.1 on quality. And as mentioned, I test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So if you've got an RTX 3060 and above, your results might vary. But generally, GTX and low level RTX cards, you, your, your results should be comparable to mine. So um, let me start from oldest driver. 537.34, over the 11 games tested, I add up all the average FPS, I get to 646. Add up all the 1% lows, I get to 475. Add up all the 0.1% lows, get to 395. Not a bad uh, driver when it came out. A driver that was better at the time when it came out was 537.58. Add up all the average FPS, get to 649, so you can see there's improvement. Add up all the 1% lows, get to 481, so there's improvements of, uh, over 537.34. And then add up all the 0.1% lows, you get to 398, so also improvement. So uh, there's a step up from 534, uh, 537.34 to 537.58. But um, the driver I recommend, I'll go through all these things, is going to be 546.17. Because for this was the previous driver I recommended 546.01. When I add up all the average FPS, I get to 642. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 481. And when I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 404. Um, for the hotfix driver, you can see there's a little, tiny little step down. Uh, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 644. Uh, when I add up all the 1% lows, get to 479, so a little bit, uh, a little bit worse there. And when I add up all the 0.1% lows, get to 372. So uh, in terms of stability, 546.08 isn't great. Um, the driver I do recommend now is 546.17, uh, especially after the most recent Windows updates. After the most recent Windows updates, 546.01 uh, performs slightly worse, but where 546.01 performs slightly worse, 546.17 actually still performs well with the most recent Windows updates. When I add up all the average FPS, get to 646, so you can see it's the highest average FPS. When I add up all the 1% lows, get to 486, so you can see the 1% lows are the highest. 
and then when I add up all the 0.1% lows, get to 404. So you can see that is also the highest. So in terms, in every uh, dimension, the average FPS, 1% lows, 0.1% lows, 546.17 is currently the best driver. So I highly do recommend using 546.17 because as mentioned i test on gtx so this driver's got the best average fps best stability but i've also had feedback from people with rtx 3080s rtx 3070s that 546.17 is indeed the best driver on gtx and rtx platforms at the moment but anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you have any questions please hit me up in the comment section and guys if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet now's the time to do so it's thursday south africa's playing in the semi-final wish us luck it's people like you have a good one cheers